Hi everyone, my name is Wendy Myers and today I want to talk to you a little bit about hope for osteoporosis without drugs. I'm definitely against medications for this type of illness or this disease and I'll tell you why. Um, first, osteoporosis it affects 44 million Americans and if you plan to live to 110, you have a, over a 30% chance of developing osteoporosis, so definitely pay attention. Um, osteoporosis it's, uh, definitely can cause death, uh, not only pain and disability, but death as well. 25% uh, of people that, uh, that end up breaking their hip die within the first year. This is people over 50 years old, of course. So it's very, very serious when someone breaks a hip uh, due to osteoporosis. Um, it can also cause uh, you know, severe depression after the surgery. They can, get, uh, they can lay in bed for weeks of recovering. Um, they can lose their ability to care for themselves. Um, patients can also um, uh, develop after the surgery or because of the break develop a blood clot that goes to their, their brain or their heart and cause a heart attack or a stroke. It's very, very serious. And, but it absolutely can be prevented. Um, so I'm going to talk to you about some of the symptoms of osteoporosis. Usually back pain, um, uh, loss of height over time, a stooped posture or having a breaking your a, a bone really easily that you wouldn't normally break if you did activity like if you tripped and just broke your leg um, that's not normal and that's your bone density test right there um, also uh, some risk factors for osteoporosis include your race um, Asian and Caucasian women tend to get osteoporosis uh, more easily um, your your, your frame, if you have a small frame, you tend to be more prone to osteoporosis. Um, if you're in menopause, because estrogen seems to have a protective effect against osteoporosis. Um, if you, uh, you know, lack of physical activity, uh, that's going to contribute. you got to do that, you know, weight-bearing exercise. If you have low vitamin D levels, which, you know, 80% of people are uh, estimated to have low vitamin D, so that's a problem. Um, because that helps the, the calcium stay in your bones. And also uh, long-term medication use, uh, namely corticosteroids. There are other medications as well that are listed in the article if you'd like to read it. And um, other risk factors include smoking, um, drinking too much. Uh, uh, these prevent, um, uh, this prevent you know, minerals, it leaches minerals out of your bones. Um, other things are really bad diet. If you're dieting a lot, you're starving yourself, or you're doing lots of fastings, or and all things like that, um, those contribute to mineral loss. It's very important to eat three meals a day, and even that doesn't confer adequate minerals. So it's very important to supplement, and we'll go into that in a second. Um, some of the things you want to know about osteoporosis are everyone is talking about calcium in regards to osteoporosis, but you can't just supplement calcium and think that you're going to be okay. Um, a lot of supplements are cheap. Um, a lot of supplements don't have the amount of calcium they say on the label. Um, a lot of the forms of calcium that they come in are, um, they're not forms that are bioavailable to your body. Um, you definitely don't want to be taking calcium carbonate, and you can look at the forms that you should be taking further down in my article if you want to read it. Um, uh, there's just all kinds of problems with calcium in regards to just supplementing. You also can't just supplement calcium. You have to supplement the cofactors of calcium, vitamin K, vitamin D, magnesium, that help calci uh, calcium get into the bones and strengthen that bone. So you can't just be supplementing calcium and chewing your little Viactive chew and thinking that's going to do the job. Um, you also don't want to think that if you eat dairy, conventional dairy, that you're, that's going to be conferring protection against osteoporosis for you also. Um, pasteurization of dairy is one of the causes of osteoporosis, and this is well, one of the reasons that countries like the U.S. and Finland that have very, very high dairy intake also have the highest rates of osteoporosis because uh, pasteurization renders the calcium in milk, for the most part, bio-unavailable. So it's just not usable by your body. And pasteurization also damages the milk in many other ways, like deforming the fats and the proteins that makes it very unhealthy for you. So if you're going to drink dairy, drink raw milk. And you can find more information about that on realmilk.com. There's nothing to be worried about. I've been drinking raw milk for a while, raw cheeses, uh, raw milk keeper, and it's fantastic. It tastes so good. It's wonderful full-fat dairy. You need the fats to absorb the calcium, so you can't drink fat-free milk and think that you're going to get calcium benefits simply because it contains calcium. You must eat healthy fats 
especially 50% saturated fats, to absorb calcium and other minerals that are going to confer healthy bones. Um, another problem with taking calcium is it does make the bones really hard, but bones also need to be flexible not to break. And this is wonderfully illustrated in a lecture I heard from Anna Marie Colbin. She has a book called The Whole Foods Guide to uh, Healthy Strong Bones, something like that, not the exact title. And she talks about how bones are 65% calcium, but they're also phosphorus, but they also have a collagen matrix. Um, this collagen matrix, uh, the, it's 65% it's minerals and 35% collagen matrix. And this collagen matrix is what keeps the, uh, the bone flexible. So if you're on a vegan diet or you're not eating animal protein, guess what? You're not going to get the collagen and the gelatin that forms this collagen matrix and you're going to be more uh, prone to bone breakages. Um, and also, you that's why you can't just eat uh, tons and tons of calcium, lots of minerals. They make your bones really, really hard. And that can also make them prone to breaking. So you need to have um, a balance of the two. You need to have calcium and, and collagen in your diet. And collagen can be eaten uh, from bone broths, from eating chicken broth and uh, lamb stew and beef broths and things like that. They're very yummy. Um, another thing people don't think about um, when it, in terms of osteoporosis that's never mentioned by doctors is heavy metal toxicity. Um, many times bones are, are they're a storage site, so the body stores lead, aluminum, and cadmium and um, other metals in the bone. And this, this can cause them to look actually denser on bone scans when they're actually very brittle and weak. Um, so you definitely need to think about detoxification of these heavy metals and the program that I'm doing and I'm also training in right now is called Nutritional Balancing with Hair Mineral Analysis and it's an amazing program that takes several years but you know you spend a lifetime accumulating these you know, toxins and heavy metals it's going to take time to get them out but it's an amazing program fully mineralizes your body and detoxes these heavy metals at the same time. It's a, a, a holistic program and it will cure your osteoporosis for the most part. Uh, not everyone, there's some people that are just too far gone and um, unfortunately um, some, not everything's going to work for them. Um, uh, some of the conventional treatments for osteoporosis uh, that you see on TV for commercials is uh, biphosphonates. These are things like Fosamax and Boniva and Actinel. Um, these I do not recommend. Um, oddly, they have the, the side effect of them if in long-term use um, after they're used for a couple years is they cause bone breaks um, and they, ca they can cause your bones to crack, which I find strange because the medication is used to prevent that. Um, so I don't recommend using them. A lot of doctors try to you know solve this problem by having the patient go on a medication holiday. Um, and then starting it up at a, a, another time at a later date. Um, but I just, I just don't think these are the solution. Um, I think they caused the problem which they were meant to, um, uh, which, which they were meant to, you know, prevent. And you can read more about that down farther in the article. Um, another problem with the biphosphonates is they can cause a really scary condition called osteonecrosis, which is death of your jawbone. And a lot of dentists won't work on patients while they're on biphosphonates because if they extract a tooth or do a major surgery, um, it can result in death of your jaw. And so don't think this is an extremely rare condition. It's not. And a lot of women are finding themselves that are trying to treat, uh, trying to treat their osteoporosis um, end up having their jaws die um, or, uh, or start to disintegrate. And just not worth it. Just, you know, eat your bone broth and sardines and some of the other healthy foods that I'm going to mention. And you have, you have to live a healthy lifestyle. You can't smoke and drink and have a bad diet and take biphosphonates. It's not going to work. It's not going to turn out for you like you'd hoped. Um, some of the natural things that you can do, very simple. You just have to exercise. You got to do some weight bearing exercise. If you're worried, if you've just been diagnosed with osteopenia, the precursor to osteoporosis, which usually triggers a prescription for biphosphonates, um, you can work with a physical therapist and so that they can work in a very slow pace, a very protected environment so that you don't have to worry about a, a bone break. Um, another thing you want to avoid is fluoride. 
Fluoride absolutely weakens bones and leaches minerals out of your bones. So that means you need to not drink tap water. You need to have, I prefer drinking spring water because you don't have to worry about fluoride. If you do drink tap water, a Brita filter is not going to cut it, a pure filter. You need to have a proper uh, filtration system, preferably carbon with an attachment to get out all the fluoride and chlorine. Um, another thing you want to do is obviously supplementation. You can't just do calcium. You have to do um, vitamin K is actually one of the most beneficial things that you can do. They've actually been shown to work better than biphosphonates. So supplement your vitamin K. Um, that's extremely important. If you take calcium, you also have to take magnesium in a 10 to 4 ratio. So 10 units of calcium to 4 units of magnesium is extremely important. You also have to take vitamin D um, and you also have to take eat saturated fats. You have to have 50% of your fats in your diet be saturated in order to absorb these minerals into your body. You can't just take them and they magically get into your body and your bones. So that means eating bone broth, that means eating red meat. Don't worry about it, saturated fats do not cause heart disease. Um, they're very, very healthy for you and you absolutely need them for life. Um, the foods that you can eat to help osteoporosis, I love sardines. Um, I love wild planet sardines. I'm not into crown prints, those don't, aren't as tasty. You wanna get sardines in water um, because the oil, if they're packed in oil, it leaches the minerals out of them. So definitely do sardines. Uh, leafy greens are always good. Um, but what's even better is carrot juice. Carrot juice has tons of calcium in it. Um, it has more calcium than, um, than leafy greens usually. So it's a wonderful food for osteoporosis. Raw dairy, as I mentioned before, uh, that's important so the calcium that's in the dairy is bioavailable to your body. You want to eat butter, um, butter and other healthy fats, olive oils. Uh, the butter has the saturated fats in it, but it also has vitamins E, D, E, and K. So you're getting all those like bone healthy, healthy fat soluble vitamins. Um, you also want to eat, you, you have to avoid flour and sugar. Flour and sugar absolutely leach uh, minerals and um, other things out of your body, other nutrients out of your body. In fact, one molecule of sugar requires 56 molecules of magnesium to be processed. So that's why there's a chronic magnesium deficiency in our society today. So you gotta cut those. Um, some of the alternative treatments that are wonderfully effective is pulse electromagnetic fields. These are shown, you can sit on one, it's a pad that you sit on for eight minutes a day, you don't feel anything. And just doing that for a year, you can increase your bone density by 6%. And these can be bought online, I think there's one called, you can find links to manufacturers down in the article. Um, I think one's called the, the IRS, uh, I think not IRS, it's a IMS 4000. Um, you can also find, um, find them at other, you know, alternative health practitioners offices. Um, another great thing is, uh, whole body vibrational training. That's those little things like you kind of hold on to them and it vibrates your entire body. And those are wonderful for building bone density and muscle strength. And they're quite fun to use too. Um, another thing that's very, very uh, effective is weighted vests. Uh, wearing, you know, to start out with six to eight pounds, you can buy them on the internet. And a weighted vest is going to, you know, help increase your bone density because it's a weight bearing exercise, so to speak, if you're wearing one all day. Another very effective treatment is acupuncture. Um, it's indirectly uh, helps you in numerous ways. And you, you can talk to your local acupuncture uh, practitioner about that. And there's some information in the article, Hope for Osteoporosis Without Drugs, a little bit more info on that. Um, like I said, you can also work with a physical therapist. And of course, uh, the, the granddaddy of them all is nutritional balancing with hair mineral analysis that is going to mineralize your body while detoxing all these chemicals and heavy metals that are in your bones and making them weaker. So that's my recommendation and um, I hope that this article has hel you know, helped you shed, shed some light on how you can treat osteoporosis without medications. Thank you so much.